Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at the person on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Libras, please. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, somebody really kind of stuck in their head, maybe stuck in a karmic situation. Someone may need to sort of change some behaviors. Um, yeah, your person's energy, Queen of Wands in reverse. And they're viewing you as the Seven of Wands in reverse so that you've pushed them away. They're quite triggered by that. Seven of Cups, and we have the Three of Swords, Libra, okay? And the Chariot card. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. Um, the Chariot card, to me, indicates that there's definitely distance between you. And it may be that this connection came to a full stop, Libra. It may be that there's some sort of third-party involvement. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about there. Somebody stuck needs to change their change their behaviors isn't sure about how to move forward. What I can tell you though is that this person is seeing clearly that you're soulmates and wants reunion. But they're in this queen of wands energy. It's like they're walking around really triggered. They might feel like you've rejected them with the 7 of wands in reverse or they just want you to let down your walls and your barriers. Let them in. Get to the heart of the matter. All right, let's see. Why is this Nine of Swords here in reverse? Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's been some sort of brutal rejection here. And the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I'm getting that strong water energy. I don't know if you rejected this person um, or they rejected you. There's a lot of love here, okay? there's a. I can see that your person, there's a lot of love here, but it feels like there's also some sort of third-party energy. Now, I don't know, Libra, if you have someone else and this was your third party or vice versa. Let's see. Why is your person in the Queen of Wands energy in reverse? The moon. They're starting to see things clearly. Ooh, okay. So it, whoever walked away in this situation, Libra, if it was you, if it was them, this person, it's revealed a lot to this person. So if they walked away from you, it's like they're getting clarity um, maybe this person had a lot of other options, Libra, and it's like, I, I feel like they're comparing you to them. And if it was you who had a lot of options and you walked away from this person, it, the, the, the distance here, I feel like it's killing this person, but I also feel it has given them a lot of clarity about what they want or what they need in relationships or um, just about you and about this connection. So the Seven of Wands in reverse... They want you to let them in. Page of Cups, but see, they think you don't want you don't want this with them. That's what I'm getting. Page of Cups, like you don't want to start something. Um, and we get Temperance energy in reverse. Yeah, it may be a situation here where an impulsive decision was made, um, or things happened really fast. Be careful in Mercury retrograde relationships that start around this time can burn hot and fast, but also, you know, disappear. This person may be getting rid of other options to come towards you. Um, but I also, I just feel more than anything, Libra, this person has clarity. They want to heal things with you, but they might not be taking action right now. And this person is willing to let go. I heard just blow up their world to come towards you. But it's like this person's willing to let go of ego energy. This person's willing to let go of anything that happened in the past or other options to work things out with you. So we do see three of swords. Now three of swords is obviously disappointment and heartache. Could also indicate that yes, confirmation, there may have been a third party here. But I see more than anything, and it's interesting with these eyes, as I said that I was like, yeah, um, I'm seeing two people getting to the heart of the matter about how they feel. Wow, that's your energy, Libra. Empress energy. Hold yourself in high regard. And the Fool card. You do have a brand new beginning. Some of you, um, you may have children with this person or there might have been some sort of pregnancy scare here. 
the Eight of Swords. See, somebody's really in their head. I kind of feel like it's both of you. But the Empress energy too, you know, if, if there's been a deal breaker here, you know, she's not going to chase. She has everything she needs and she's going to use all of her strength and her courage to take a leap of faith. And for some of you, it may be in a brand new direction if there's something here that can't be healed. Um, for others of you, it may be taking a leap of faith towards this person. We have strong fire coming through. We have strong Sag, strong Aries, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces energy in, in this reading. All right, let's see what else my Libras need to know about this person. There, there may be the birth of something new here for sure. And some of you, it's going to be with this person. And others of you, it's just moving in a different direction. But they, this person, they're seeing clearly after whatever has happened, a fight, an argument, or a separation with you, that they're, gonna, they're letting go of ego energy. They're letting go of other options to come towards you to heal this. So learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Yeah, but I also feel too, this person, this person may have been in an energy of self-pity, whether you moved away from them or they moved away from you or it was mutual, but I do feel they've transcended that. I do, I like that because it tells me this person's in a much, they've been able to transmute that energy. And we get Midas and the Miser. So entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold. Delight in sharing life's riches. So I think this was in the... I don't know if it was in the Pisces or the Virgo reading. But for some of you, this person, if it's been a long time since you've seen them, they've really been up-leveling. But this is also someone that wants to share their life with you. They want to share what they've worked for. They may be an entrepreneur that may help. And we get heal our energy in reverse. There's still more that needs to be healed, though. Um, this is taking advantage of those who need help failing to care for oneself. I don't think this person is taking advantage of others. That's not the energy I'm getting. I'm getting more than anything. This person may still need to do a bit more self-care, or they, they might still need to do some healing, at least when, especially when it comes to you or this connection. We get the trickster energy. But it's coming out in the light attribute, which is transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. So this person, I, I get magician energy off of that. This person is a, ma a manifester. They might be working with law of attraction. They might be manifesting you. Um, this person might like magic, okay? Like, you know, magic tricks or going to magic shows. Um, but I also feel more than anything, this person is going to shock you. They're definitely, they definitely are very unique in their life path or the choices they've made. And I feel that's necessary with entrepreneurial energy to kind of take some risks. All right, let's see. I do see distance might be an issue. I don't know if you live at a distance from each other or there's just been a lot of time that's passed. What do my Libras need to know about this connection? So the decision is gonna be up to you, whether or not you want to talk to this person, you wanna rekindle, reconcile, Spirit saying this relationship can stand the test of time. So for some of you, there's been a considerable amount of time since you've seen this person or talked to them, but they are coming back around. I like that. It's positive energy, the birth of something new. And Spirit saying you are safe and divinely guided. Hmm. I also feel this connection is kind of protected here. But there are unhealed wounds that are blocking forward movement, so maybe your person still has some healing work to do. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see, clear messages and guidance for my Libras regarding this connection. I'm seeing this like these two dolphins. I mean, we always see soulmate energy with the chariot card, but dolphins are, are very strong soulmate, soulmate messages. I also feel there's a need to, you know, these dolphins are diving deeper into the sea. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's like there's, it's time for a deep dive. I also feel like it's important that there's probably going to be some heavy stuff that comes up between the two of you. It's also important to remember to be playful as well. Like, you know, do talk about the heavy stuff, you know, process it, get it out. But at the same time, you know, it's going to be important to have fun together as well. All right. So for my Libras, new love. Yeah. See there. See, I think this is a new cycle in love with this person. Um, now, obviously, that's not going to be for all of you. Some of you, there's been too much heartache or pain. 
and you're going to use all of your strength and courage and move in a different direction. You have a gift coming to you with that star, something you've been manifesting, something you want. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Um, and some of you, you've made, this is exactly what you want with this person. Take a chance on love. Wow. So we get that full card. So taking that leap of faith. Of course, you're going to decide, do you take a leap of faith towards this person or towards someone new? When we love, our lives are changed forever. Mm, that's the truth. And we get act as if your partner is here. So I'm getting that strong manifestation vibe here. I hope I haven't called you Virgo. I know I'm in the Libra reading. I just had a fear that I called you Virgo. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So some of my Libras, maybe you're manifesting this person. Maybe you're having conversations with them. You know, like when you talk to them, like you're, you know, talk to your person about what you want, how you feel, even if they're not, you know, you're not actually with them. I feel somebody's doing that in this connection, you or them, or maybe even both of you. And appreciate the moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love. So stay very present here. Appreciate what you have right now because a lot of my Libras I'm seeing with the Empress and the Fool card, some of you, there's some big changes coming to your life. If you've been single for a while, there, this could be a brand new relationship. For some of you too, it could be a pregnancy. So just be aware of that. All right, I'm leaving it here, Libras. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light Libras. Take care.